part here in Southern California so far? It's pretty good. Uh, Southern California, we've, we haven't spent that much time here yet. Mm -hmm. uh, we played West Hollywood a couple of days ago, and then we went up to Frisco, and now we're down here again, and we go to San Diego tomorrow. Um, so, so the Southern California part, I don't, you know, Hollywood is good. Anaheim's good, or it's gonna be good. It was great last time we were here. Um, for the rest of the tour, you know, it's been like we've played sold out houses everywhere, and people are really up in the air about what we're doing. And we we upscaled every venue from last time, so so that we're playing in places uh, this size, like I don't know, an average of a thousand or twelve hundred people. That's that's pretty neat. Uh, this is our third time seeing Boldy. Second time. Second time. The first time we saw him was with Metallica in Honda Center. I've been a fan for four years. Four years. I like about them because they're unknown around here. They're unknown. I don't think a lot of people see them, so that's just what I like about them. Different music, rockabilly, metal, punk. I love it. It's awesome. Well, I know you guys have reached gold status in Germany with the new release. Give us your thoughts on that. Well, it's not besides like, awesome. <laughs> yeah, it's awesome. Uh, no, but but the, that's that's the thing, you know. When when you you're in a band and you write music and you write a new album and you're like you don't know where you go, um, and there's a lot of, of ways that you can you can get a, a clap on your shoulder. But, but one thing is of course having in Germany gold status is like a hundred thousand sold albums. So that means that a hundred thousand people went out to buy our new album. And you know, that it's, it's not something that just happens uh, today. And it, for us, it's like, I don't know, I, I haven't seen 100,000 albums. I've seen 100,000 people uh, <laughs> once we played with, with ACDC this summer. You know, 100,000 people, that's people from here and as long as you can, you can see, you know. And all those people like went down and bought that album in Germany. So 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 that's that's amazing, and for us it's a huge compliment, you know, that we're the hard work is paying off. That, you know, we we tour a lot. We have had a pretty tight release schedule. We like released an album every second year. Uh, might gonna take a little bit longer this time because <laughs> some, suddenly we also we also touring over here and all that. Um, but it's just a huge compliment that you're actually that that you're selling that that many albums. The same thing with tickets, you know. It's 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 the way that. I don't know what, what to call them, music listeners, fans, consumers, whatever. It's the way people vote, you know, that, that, and, and that's, that's how it is, especially in, in a free economy, that, you know, people get some money and they put it on whatever they want, you know. It might be Coca-Cola, and, you know, that's because people prefer that compared to something else, so they sell more, and that's a, that's a sign of success. Not that we're, we're, it's not, we're not talking business and money here, we're just talking that what we do, is something that a lot of people appreciate and a lot of people want to spend their I don't know what you guys are paying for for an album over here. It's oh. fifteen or twenty dollars or something like that. Yeah. Uh, and over at our place, it's way more. <laughs> really? It's a little bit more expensive. But uh, but you know that's a lot of people that decides to to not spend those money on beers or cinema tickets or whatever, yeah. and not and not buying the new album of. I don't know some generic shit, you know. But our stuff, and that's uh, for us. It's just we're it's, we're just thankful, basically. It's, it's a long way to say thanks, actually. The oh, the yes. couple of minute talk. I guess. <laughs> <laughs> Do you have a particular favorite song? Uh, I want to say uh, Sad Man's Talk. Sad Man's Talk. Sad Man's Talk. Yeah. yeah. About you. It's hard to choose. It's hard to choose. <laughs> if you had to, if you had to pick one. Which one do you play the most? What do you play the most in your car? Yeah. Um, probably Garden State. With Metallica, I mean, talk to us a little bit about that. That was fun, you know. First of all, getting a call, of course, not personally from from the guys, but but from their management or booking agent, whatever. Uh, again, talking about compliments, it's it's one of the biggest compliments you can get because those guys, like we actually do as well, you pick your own support acts because they're at a level where they nobody's telling them who to bring out, you know. So. They might not agree all four of them, but at least one guy in the band said, "I want these guys on the tour," you know. And they they pick, get to pick a band for every tour or something. You know, the, the band each or something. Uh, so that's a huge compliment that they those guys that you used to have on your on your wall back home in, in 
your room at your parents' place, you know, when you're a teenager, that they actually know that we exist and they like what we do. Uh, and besides from that, of course, then joining the tour and first of all, as we, we're probably a little bit geeky about that whole thing, but how that how how their whole machinery works, you know, how they roll in to to an arena and how quickly they build it up, how, you know, everything is coordinated. It's like military operation, you know, everybody knows what they're doing and it's so fast. And it's like it's it's for us it's it's like it's a cool thing to, to watch how the big guys do it. And then of course get to see Metallica play every night and play in front of Metallica's crowd, which is you know, actually pretty open minded, you know. Of course there are some diehard fans that are like it's got to be Metallica, Metallica only, and, and that's all right. You know, you, every once in a while you get somebody fuck off, and now Drama got a sandwich in in the back of his his neck one night. I think that was in Belfast or something. But that's you know that's how it is. We're like, well, oh, fuck it. You paid the ticket, and we're up here, and we're on the tour, so it doesn't matter. But it, that's that's how it is. You know, I, you know, you go out see see the main act and the support acts. You know, you you might be interested in, in who they are. Uh, you might check them out. Some don't. Some don't care. That's all right. That's that's how how it is. But but then of course touring with these guys and hanging out with them, you know, they're like inviting us out for dinner and we're like you know nice. you're sitting somewhere and you're like wow <laughs> and you wanna you wanna like grab your iPhone you wanna do, do photos of the whole thing and film it but of course you don't you know you know there are it cool. it's like the house of rules and <laughs> un unwritten rules though that uh, of course you leave the guys alone um, but that was, that was pretty cool and we actually we went out uh, we toured with them over here and we toured with them uh, that was late what was that October November I think or November December 2009 and then in May 2010 we actually did a couple of weeks with them in Europe as well um, and we ended up one day in Portugal we went to to the beach we got told uh, to go to what would be a cool place and that was where you know Kirk and Rob they're into surfing and all that so we so we we run into these guys and it's like I, I've never tried surfing before but it's like all right I, I gotta try this you know and it's like Kirk Kirk Hammond saying this board is cool I just wrote it so like yeah that's my board you know <laughs> no that was all good if Kirk uh, says it. yeah you know but but that's that's cool and and it's it's great for us you know as well because like seeing how these guys who've been big rock stars since they were teenagers how down to earth they actually are. Of course they live in a different world than we do. You know. Uh, that that's 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 just how it is. But but you know, they, 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 they seem to care about the bands they take out. They don't try to give anybody a hard time, they try to help out as much as possible. The crew are nice to the support acts. And they're they seem to be interested in what we're doing, you know. Yeah. And you know that, that, that that's pretty cool and, 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 and that's like a lot of respect for doing that and that, that keeps you like thinking about you know whenever well we basically I think that's why we get along you know because we got the same attitude towards our support bands and all that but it's like you know why do you want to fuck the support bands you know you bring them out why not give them the best opportunity to, to do the best show possible and then give the fans more value for their money you know uh, better bands and, and a, a better atmosphere I love their incredible originality and the fact that there's absolutely no band on this planet that sounds like them. They really don't. I mean, they got like that whole Johnny Cash kind of Elvis, yeah, Elvis kind of sound to him, and his pompadour is awesome. I, <laughs> I don't know how he does that with his hair, but there's so much energy when you guys perform. Um, does that come from the crowd solely, or tell us? Well, it's it's like it's an interaction mm -hmm. that you know. Of course, we go up there and we know we. have We've been sitting still, and hanging out on the bus, or walking around Disney World all day. We might be tired, you know, but it's you know whenever the intro start playing and you're like, you get into a certain mood and you go up there and you rock it. But of course, we go up there and we have a crowd that's just like yeah. laid back, checking it out. You know, no offense, I, I do that myself. You know, I'm not I'm, I'm not I'm not 15 8 years old anymore. I'm not like slam dance or anything. I'm standing in the back and that's cool. Um, but if the full crowd is like that, and and you just keep on like rocking out totally, it, it looks a little bit stupid because you gotta find each other, and and that's like the first I don't know first couple of songs maybe five songs, you try to try to find each other and try to then start to 
to exchange this energy. Then we put some energy in there, and the crowd puts something in, and you know, sometimes it builds to I don't know a higher level, and sometimes it goes a little bit down. But it's it's I think that's it's basically how it is when people interact. Um, so, but but you know, it, it really of course it helps us a lot if we get if people are, t are totally going wild and they're like singing along, and you can see, you know, people are smiling. It's like it matters because we do this almost every night, you know, and of course we have a good time, but sometimes it's just oh, sorry. <laughs> Some, oh, thank you, Coca Cola. <laughs> Some, sometimes it's just another day at the office, right? So, so you're like, how can you like a hundred nights a year or something like that? How can you go up there and do what we do? But that, that's you, you, you do it. You kick some something into the pile and you see what you get back. And if you get some energy back, you know, that that just keeps you going. So, so you know, and then see people like, you know, I just met a guy here. You, you were at the show in Hollywood. Oh, he didn't go to Frisco, and he but he'll be in San Diego tomorrow as well. You know. Like hanging out, dropping by at like, I don't know, 10, 12 o'clock and hanging out all day. And there are people that do that. There are people, actually, a guy, he's coming here tonight, who, he's from Denver. And he hooked up with, with us in Denver. He might, I think he actually drove from Denver to Chicago first. And then, then he did all the shows we did on the way over here, Frisco, then down, and, and he's driving on his own, you know. And we're not, and we're not talking a twenty-year-old guy. We're talking forty-five-year-olds. You know, stuff like that. That, that, that you know, you, you got you got people coming out and appreciating what we do. That's you know that, that it, it really for us. It's like of course it's a little bit it's a little bit weird, but but yeah. it's also just cool that people are so much much into what we do, and that they actually want to see because it's basically the same show. It's the same songs and the same equipment and everything. Same jokes basically every night. So it's like, why do you guys want to go and see? And they're like, I want to be in the front row. You, you, you've, you've been that like four nights in a row now. Yeah. You know, and they still would meet them. They still want a photo. Like you got one yesterday, but it's like, yeah, but this is today. <laughs> and, and and that's that's how cool. So that that keep you going. Oh, that's good, yeah, I won't ask if you consider moving here. <laughs> that was one of my questions. I don't I don't know. You know, that's that's the thing. We had we had that. Uh, talk a couple of years ago, but that was about moving to to UK because there are some it's just basically tax uh, tax, tax uh, <laughs> uh, it's just easier that way or, or whatever. But it's like, you know, we're like I'm not like the youngest guy, I'm thirty years old and we got our drummer is forty and we all got families and it's like, you know, you you fuck how much money you pay in taxes. You wanna live where you're families because we're out here all the time and whenever we're home we want to be home and we want to see our families and friends. Yes. We got a lot of new friends but you know the old friends and the family that counts a little bit more. Um, but I don't know you know I'm like really like being over here and it's like at one point it could be fun at least to, to spend a couple of years here or something but but you know why would we move here and then fly to Europe to tour all the time so it's it's I don't know but yeah. it, it might happen we'll see. Could be fun. I don't know where to go then because it's like there are good, th you know, there are good things about every everywhere. You know, you're like you got beaches, some places, mountains. Yeah, but I'm and I'm into want. skiing as well. But again, then I'm like I'm I'm not I'm not like a big city guy. So I'm like I, it's it's cool to, to visit New York. It's cool to visit LA and stuff like that. But you're like you've been there a couple of days. I mean, you're like I want to go out. You know? So I was like, you know, we, we played in uh, Missoula, Montana. That was a cool place. I was like, and we we didn't ex we never played there before. And there were so many kids coming to the show, and people were like, it was it was, it was almost the best show on the tour. And I like that place because it got mountains, and it seems like it's like small. It's it's still a city, but it's smaller, and you can there's a lot of outdoor activities going on and all that. That was cool. I don't know. <laughs> Not saying I'm moving to Montana. <laughs> You guys are going to be playing Golden Gods. Yeah. I mean, that's pretty awesome. Um, I'm, that's going to get you some major American exposure. I know that's going to be very exciting. Um, any details of the performance for us? Well, I know we're going to play three songs. And as always, when, when we're talking award shows, it's always, they're always, they always want to get something special, not just a band playing. So they want to, like, I don't know, want us to perform with different people. There's been a lot of, of things, ideas on the table, and some of them are good, some of them are not that good. So we'll see what we end up with. Uh, but I think we're we're pretty set on which songs we're gonna play. Can you tell us? I don't know. 
Uh, I'm not, again, I'm not sure. I think we're going to play. We, we got a cover of I Only Want to Be With You, oh. just to speak for them. I think we're going to do that. And I think we're going to do our the last single we did, yeah. All Fallen. All oh, Fallen. Yeah. Oh. Um, and then we were talking about which other song to do, because there's like a, a couple of different options. I have a, I have a vote. Well, I have a favorite full beat yeah. song. It's Radio Girl. Oh, yeah. yeah. It's a good song. It is a great song. But that's the problem with those award shows. Actually, here we get to play three shows, so that's like a mi uh, three songs. It's like a mini show. You can do start up, start off a little low, and then more energy and whatever, you know. But sometimes we play like one song, and it's just in there, play it, and then you're done. It's like because we're used to this, like that the, there's some there's some dynamics in the show, and you go up, and you go a little bit down, and then you go up again, and all that. That's hard to do. So it's actually pretty tough to play those. Well, going back to I Only Want to Be With You, what, whose idea was it to cover that? Probably Michael's. I wasn't in the band at that point. Oh, so that's I, right. You so I don't know. But, but, four years ago. but I, 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 can, I can imagine that it was Michael's idea. It's, it's normally obscure. his ideas whenever we yeah. do stuff. So. Pretty, pretty obscure, but, but a great song. That's awesome a good song. Cover, that, yeah. That's a good thing about that whole period, you know, that they wrote, they wrote songs. They, they, didn't, they didn't really, it wasn't about writing riffs and music and like all sorts of weird things it was like I'm sitting down writing a song yeah. and a song you can play with three chords on an acoustic guitar yeah. Yeah. Absolutely. well um, do you guys have any future DVD plans for us? of course we do <laughs> uh, because we already um, we already recorded uh, we, did, we did a tour in the fall after releasing the album we released earlier released in September and, and Europe and we did a huge arena tour and we recorded uh, the show in Copenhagen, um, Denmark, with like 10,000 people and we got a lot of guests, all the, not all of them, but, but whoever we could get on a plane or <laughs> whatever, uh, dropped by and did, uh, did their guest appearance. So that whole sh uh, show got shot. And then we're shooting the show tonight as well for this the same DVD release, so we're gonna, you know, so that, that people in Europe can get a, a, a look into what's going on in the States, and people over here going to see a club show, they can see that we're actually doing some really different things in, in Europe. And then we're doing some documentary as well, actually, we did, we've been filming some, like, during the last couple of days, and uh, and we're gonna film some more stuff today. Nice. So, I have no idea when it's gonna come out, hopefully later this year, but but that, that, that stuff takes time. There you go. There's a lot of footage. <laughs> I would imagine. So my last question was, what about 2012? Looking ahead. Well, we normally plan like, all, like at, at least a half year, but normally almost a full year that we got kind of an idea about what's going on. But, but So that means that the rest of this year is basically planned. Um, and that's going to be some more touring over here, and there's going to be some more touring in Europe. And then we're like, we we want to go to to Asia, we want to go to Japan and stuff. But right now, Japan is <coughs> they're 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 not doing that well. So it's it's not really it's not really the time to start talking about uh, touring Japan. Uh, and we're talking about South America. We're also talking about Australia, New Zealand, and all that. But but there's a lot of places to go. Uh, I think we're going to do some more touring in 2012 and probably start working slowly on a new album but, but we, have, we have no certain plans about when we want to record it and, and as said before, um, since we're now suddenly not only playing Europe where we normally did like 80 shows, 100 shows a year, suddenly we're doing all, all shows all over so it's like it's probably going to take some more years in between albums because, because we, we, we need to tour different well, the song Thanks that's on the recent album, thanks for the song, as a fan, what do you want to say to your fans right now? Well, we basically say it in the song, right? Uh, exactly. No, that's, again, that's, we, you know, people might consider us being, uh, being big rock stars and all that, but we're not, you know, we're thankful and, and why not, you know, that's what we do best is write a song. So why not write a song and say thank you for supporting us and thanks for coming out to the shows, buying the albums, you know. Without the fans we wouldn't really be here, you know. Um, that's after all, that's the fans keep keep us going as said like live wise, 
uh, with the energy, but of course also like if people don't show up at the show or don't buy the albums, you know, you know how it goes. You know, that's and that's 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 an important thing, not only with our band but in general. If people like something, they should go and support it, you know. That's how the labels work. You know, they release a band. If they sell a lot of albums, they're gonna sign more of that music. So you you can actually vote with your money, you know. Whoever you know, where do you want it to take? Everybody's like, oh, they play all this crappy pop stuff on the radio. It's like, what, what, why do you think they do that? It's because that's where the money are. So if you guys start spending more money on the stuff that we all like, you know, then, then we'll probably end up with more of that stuff. Well, my editor, Downshifter, wanted me to be sure and tell you, he, he's identified you as one of the best bands of the decade. All right, thanks. And I, I, I have to agree. And we want you to know that Full Metal Rock has your full support. We love you guys.